from Dispatches from the Frat House. I thought today I would show you how my planning system works. I'm going to apologize in advance because the lighting is not great. I've been find, trying to find the best spot in the house. I've moved multiple times. I've moved lamps and I think this is probably as good as it's going to get today. So I already posted my October 2018 planner setup. So anything you see in here, if you have questions about what insert is that or where did the decoration come from or whatever the case may be. Everything is linked in both the post on my website and in um, on YouTube in the description box on that video. So by all means ask in the comments here or if you want a little bit quicker answer go check out that video and everything is listed in the description box with the applicable links. So I've shown you the setup and a lot of people have asked well exactly how does your system work. So the thing is my planner always works the same way regardless of what kind of planner I'm using, whether it's rings, strings, regardless of the size, regardless of what inserts I'm using. The, the system or the process is always the same for me. So I'll start by saying I can't show you here because I don't do it in here, but in my Hobonichi Weeks, I do a structured monthly and weekly review every month and at the end of every week. Sometimes it trickles over into the beginning of the following week. Sometimes the prior week's review doesn't get done until Monday. Uh, but for the most part, over the weekend and then at the end of the month. I go through my daily pages for the week and I go through my weekly pages for the month at the end of the month and just make sure I didn't miss anything, make sure something didn't fall through the cracks. If I didn't write it down, that's when things fall through the cracks. And that's why having a system, a process helps because things get captured somewhere for the most part. I, st I do still miss things. I would never sit here and tell you I don't forget things or misplace things <laughs> or whatever. But for the most part, I, I catch things. So here's what I do. So that is my review. In order to make this system work, I have to do a review weekly and monthly. So, and I'll do a separate video about that if you guys want um, to show you. I'm sitting on the floor. You're gonna see my foot for a second. I have to move a bit. I'm very uncomfortable. <laughs> okay, so. Here is how this is working. Um, each day, let's start with the day. Let me make sure there's nothing on here. So my daily page stays open all day, okay? My daily page stays open all the time. Um, and this is where everything goes for the day, for the most part. Generally, like if I have an idea for a video, um, I'll put a little dash, I'll jot it down. If there's something I'm working on and I have an idea that pertains to it, I'll put a little dash, I'll jot it down. So, so everything goes on my daily page. Either at the end of the day or the end of the week, I will take that little whatever it was, that little jotting that I did, that little note, and I will go to my project pages and I will add it. So that's my first thing I wanted to get out there was capturing things. Where do I capture things? I try my best to just capture everything on my daily pages. An inbox would work just as well if you have an inbox section or as Brandy Michelle Plans has, which is a fantastic idea, an inbox notebook that you can tuck in the back or in the front or maybe your front or back insert or whatever in your traveler's notebook um, would be a place where you just capture everything. All those things that just come to you quickly, that's where you'd capture them. For me, that's this, my daily pages serve that purpose. So what I do, so that's that's how I capture stuff. So my system is my monthly in the front has everything that I know of that is scheduled. I don't have project stuff scheduled on here. So what I do each week is, and this I just kind of keep up with. If we go get haircuts, well, when did we schedule the next one? You know, three weeks out or how, you know, all the boys kind of go at different times depending on how often they like to get their haircut. So when I, we go to a haircut, okay, when is their next appointment? It goes on the daily page. And then at the end of the day or at the end of the week, I go through these, go back to my monthly calendar and add any of those appointments in here. And then weekly, Let's go to, I think this week should be okay. Yeah, this week is fine. Weekly, I pull all of this stuff, the scheduled stuff from the monthly calendar, okay? So everything that's over here, and this has been added to, this is, it's Friday now, this has been added to since Monday. So everything from on this page comes from here. Everything on the scheduled weekly page comes from the monthly, all right? At the beginning of each month, or the end of the prior month, I try to lay out um, stuff that needs to get done that isn't my stuff. It's not videos. It's not 
speaking engagements. It's not, you know, project stuff that's mine. Um, when I changed my contacts, because I will forget, I'm supposed to throw them out every two weeks and I won't remember when I changed them last. Stuff like that, house stuff, that all goes here. Stuff that kind of comes up during the month goes here. And then in here is where I do, okay, what videos do I want to get done this month? What do I need to do for the magazine this month? And if, if I need to know when, roughly when. <clears throat> and then up here I will outline the videos just very briefly. The details for the stuff, like what I want to say, the points I want to hit, the links I need to include, that's all back here on the project page for that. This is just roughly overview for the month, what I want to do, and then I can break it down by week, okay? And then when I finish something, I mark it. Um, I talked about this in my October setup video. The only other things that I mark in advance on here are home hockey games. We try to make as many of the home games as we can because Mike travels so much. So <clears throat> when they have a home game, we try to go so we can see him kind of while he's at work, but we can be there. Um, so those days kind of work a little differently here in the house as compared to non-hockey game days. Um, and then his travel. I do mark his travel on here as well. So days I get things done, it's all color coded. Pink is usually like videos, posts, things like that. Blue is the magazine. Um, purple I was using for podcast stuff on Anchor. I'm really bad about keeping up with that. There are not enough hours in the day or I need to be more creative with the hours I have. That might be more likely. <laughs> so the stuff that is on this side of my weekly comes from this monthly insert. There's not scheduled stuff on here. That's in the first one I showed you. This is the random stuff, the house stuff, the family stuff, just stuff I need to remember when I did it. And then this is my project stuff that I want to work on. So that all comes from here. And then this up here comes from my recurring tasks in the back in my notes section or from this little list over here. Okay, so that is how the system for the weekly works. The schedule comes from the monthly calendar in front. The tasks and kind of goals come from the goals and tasks calendar for a month up here. Okay, and where these things come from, where, you know, what, bit, what videos do I want to do? What do I need to do for the magazine? That does come from the work section. So in the work section, I have the magazine, or I have, um, the website and YouTube, the magazine, and writing stuff. Writing stuff tends to be stuff that is in here pretty temporarily. It ends up getting moved um, into a separate notebook. But I have in here a running list of videos that I want to do. First, I have a couple projects in the front that aren't really categorizable, if that makes sense. Like, there's stuff that kind of have to do with the website and whatnot, but um, they're a little bit separate. So the very first thing in this section is the current projects I'm working on. Um, I just finished up, you know, like a front and back of a page, so I took it out and started a new one because it was full. Um, but this is, I didn't need to carry it anymore. So, like, these are the three projects I'm focusing on right now. And then that's notes for one of those projects because it doesn't really fall into one of these categories. And then here's the list of video ideas. This is where, this here is where I get the list to go into the monthly list of say videos I wanna do, for example. Same for the magazine. I go through, what do I need to do? Is it a month that the magazine is being posted or is it a content collecting month? Because I try to go every month, every other month. It doesn't always work out. Might be going to seasonal instead and four issues a year, I'm not sure yet. Um, but like this month is a posting month. They need to get the magazine posted. So here's the really brief overview of what I need to do. And then in the actual project page, I have stuff ready for the next issue already, but there's a checklist that I make every month that is all the articles and did I do each thing then it's just abbreviated and I just it's just a big grid kind of like a habit tracker and I just mark it as I do it so I can see at a glance what I need to do okay so that is where the stuff for that comes from now the stuff that ends up on the daily pages this this all pulls from the weekly okay so what I do is on Saturday Sunday sometimes it's not until Monday I look at my weekly and go, okay, on Monday there's no school and I have to go next door to the neighbors for a little while because Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, we help him with some things. So, okay, that's what I need to do Monday. So that was what, Monday the 8th? So <clears throat> I just fill it in. I needed to go next door, Jack didn't have school. That's all I had for that particular day when I very first set it up. As things came up, I made little notes. And then Tuesday, I just transfer this to here. 
I realize it's repetitive. I have it in two places, but when I can have this open and only focus on today, I realize I can also see the next day or the prior day, depending on what day it is, but that's it. This narrows my focus to just now. This gives me a great overview of the week, but it can be overwhelming if it's not what my brain needs at that moment. Sometimes I do need to look at the whole week and see how things are gonna fall together. Who needs to be where, when, who is gonna run them, who's gonna pick them up. This I can really focus on just a day. I can just look at my page for the day and that is it. I don't need to focus on anything else. <clears throat> and then as appointments come up or notes come up or ideas come up at the end of the day or at the beginning of the next day, those things get transferred where they belong. They get transferred into, say it was an idea, you know, to put in a video I've been thinking about. It goes in the work section. It starts all on the daily page, kind of filters out from there. Hey, you all, that is kind of my bare bones. I don't know how long the video is because I don't have a clock running on the camera, but I hope it feels like bare bones at least. Um, my system, kind of my process of how my setup works, because to me there's a setup and then there's a system or a process. Like the setup is the, you know, the physical, the system or the process is how all the physical bits work together. And to me, they have to all link together or I end up taking them out of my planner because I'm not using them. If you have any questions, let me know. If you would like to share your system or setup, I would love to see how all the bits and bobs in your planner work together to help you kind of stay on top of things when you can and get things done and be where you need to be. I'm really fascinated by, by planning systems. I love watching setup videos and a lot of setup videos are kind of an intermingling of setup and process. And, but I love seeing people's process or system and what they're using. And what we're going to talk about more um, in an upcoming video will be the benefits of having a planning system. But I hope that maybe this helps if you are struggling with something to at least give you some ideas. So please share your setups. Let me know. Shoot me an email or a message and let me know that you posted your system um, so that we can all kind of learn. Okay. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.